but why pain? It's an excellent question. And we will say, because that is the state that the one speaking is addressing at this moment. We'll say that differently. She is currently addressing her third dimensional experience, her physical body. And we have spoken about this before. <clears throat> we as guide, as the high council members, have spoken that every being starts their spiritual progress from a different dimensional space. Some start from the fifth dimension where they are born as psychic, as intuitive, they see spirit, they see auras, so forth. Some begin in the fourth dimension where they come in addressing their thoughts and emotions. They're very young children who come in who are very clear on their mental and emotional discipline. They have good emotional intelligence. And some people come in and they begin in the third dimension where they work on their physical body. They are, they are human and they know nothing except for being human. And then they have to learn how to deal with their thoughts and emotions, which is fourth dimension, and then their spirit, which is fifth. And everyone starts in a different place, right? The one speaking started at the fifth dimension, learned lots and lots and lots about that. We will not say that's finished, but that, is, that was her entry point. Then moved into mental and emotional discipline and working with that. And now she is really focusing on learning how to be in a human body well, how to human well. And so because that is her focus and she hasn't, she hasn't had a lot of experience in past incarnation of enjoying being in a physical body. And so in this particular incarnation, one of the things she wanted to do was to learn how to be in a physical body, how to do it well. And so as her um, evolution has progressed, she is now consciously learning how to be in a physical body and maintain her connection to her mental and emotional wisdom and discipline, intelligence, and stay connected to spiritual and all of her spiritual gifts. And this journey is going to be different for everyone. But because she is so identified right now and focused by choice, on her third dimensional human experience, she's very aware of how she's held things in her body, meaning energies um, such as grief in her physical body. She's very aware of the generational trauma. She's very aware of all of these things that happen in the humans, in her experience and in her generations of humans, ancestors. And so that was how this manifestation occurred is because that's where she's at right now. That's where the focus is right now. And we consider it, even though it was an extremely painful experience, and it was, it was still equally, if not more, beneficial as an experience for her. Because she actually moved physically material, three-dimensional material, third-dimensional material in this kidney stone out of its store place where it was being stored in her kidneys as grief. And she was able to move it out of there and trying to shift it out of her body. Now, it didn't, it didn't get out by itself. It needed help. That's okay. Many times, no matter what dimension you're on, you need help. Sometimes you need help with a therapist or a coach if you're working in your thoughts and emotions. Sometimes you need help with a psychic or a channel if you're um, addressing fifth dimensional experiences. So in our experience, 
we would say the fifth dimensional, fourth dimensional, and third dimensional are equally valuable. And so just because it happened in the physical body doesn't make it less high vibrational or less useful or less anointed or less inspiring or less useful. It is just the avenue in which she is currently presenting her growth and development. 